Hi guys, I'm about to do a Watch Me Work video with um, some appraise uh, Gelix Lead Extension. I will be using the um, Sculpted Coffin Long. And that's these right here. And I already sized her up and that's them right there. Okay. And these are the things that I will be using in this set. I have my jewel picker, which I'll be using these hearts as a design. We're going to do a black and a nude set. I think, um, do you want matte? You want matte? Um, the nude? The, the black. Mm -mm. You want matte for the nude? And gloss for the black? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll see how that go. Okay, let me get that matte. I gotta get that mat over there. Um, I'll be using um, the gel to adhere this. I'll be using Young Nails Manicure Protein Bond. I'll be using some different kind of files, buffers. Um, I'll be using some black acrylic. I'll be doing some small little hearts with these rhinestones and some in black glitter. And I got some few brushes here, and I also got a little warmer here with a little um, bit of monomer for my 3D black hearts. I'll be selling this on my website as well. It warms up very well. Um, and I'll be using the alcohol, and I already got my setup for my clean bits and everything to be working to prep her nails, and I'll be using this to for the finished file, my dust collector. Alrighty. And that's it, guys, because um, I really would, I'm not going to be talking too much in this video. And if I do have to say something, I'll say it quick. And um, um, I will be using lamps right here to um, cure the gel. And the gels that I'm using is um, New, New Jude from Magpie and Black Magic. Um, you can buy that on um, Backstage. I think profile backstage. Yep. And um Young Nails uh, monomer. And I get this from my local beauty store. All right. Uh let me get started. Okay, as normal, she makes sure that you start with a clean pair of nails. And what we're gonna do here, who wants to clean up her cuticle area, file down her nails to where they're round and short, because you don't want a free edge on here. And we're going to do the prep work on here. First, I'm going to go ahead and push back the cuticles. I have here a straight edge um, nail clipper and some pliers because you do have a hang nail right here that I'm going to cut. It looks like it hurts. And all this excess stuff. And you got to just tell your clients to make sure she all her um, nail beds so she won't have these hang nails. And you want to cut those so it won't snag on her hair or her clothes and make it um, deeper than what it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clip her nails down, which makes it easier to file. And make sure you're pushing down on this skin right here so you won't cut her um, skin underneath her nails. Okay, 
I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, Diamond Bed Arbor Band. Um, I think I got this from Nail Hub, but you can get it straight from Erica because that's the brand it is using. Got this on like a six now. And what we're doing here is taking um taking the shine off and getting that extra skin around the cuticle area. I'm gonna use some um, cleanser. You gotta touch your stuff. I'm gonna clean these nails up really good. Get all that. They look nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get our gel and we're gonna start doing these nails. Um, how I prep the um, nails, by the way, let's put that top back there. Um, I try to get as minor dust as I possibly can. So what I do is get a um, jar like this and put some acetone in there. And get a brush that I really don't use. And you know that the free edge starts about right here, almost to right there. So what I do, and I paint this on to about where I think my free edge is gonna stop. And I'm just, you know, taking the shine off this nail, making it sticky too. And I will do the front, but I don't need to do the front right now because these are not press on nails. I will just do that when I get ready to do the top, when I put them on. And you just make sure it's sticky. And you just keep on rubbing it in until it's sticky.
You can tell because your brush just stopped um, going over it smoothly. It kind of stopped when it started getting rough. See, it's already pulling. It starts to pull your brushes. So that's when you know you need to go ahead. It's It's been primed. Okay, that's it for that. Some, some, some primer on these nails. Got to put some primer on these nails. I'm using Protein Bond. Let me hurry up and do that. Now I was going to uh, miss, miss the important miss, miss step. Um, I usually I use a um, gel bottle rubber base. But I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to use it this time. I think I'm going to go ahead and protein bone this twice. I'm just going to do a, a, a quick, um, cause she want them to last. So, um, yeah, if y'all wondering what that is, that's some hot chips. Good. These, these people need hot chips. <laughs> Don't be smiling at me. These hot chips fall under your nails. <laughs> okay, we got that prime. Let's go put that to the side. Let's start now. I don't want to put too much the way it squeezed too much on the side, but I want to make sure that my sides is, um, you know, in there. Get that ready. And I forgot her nail bed is kind of short, so I, I really don't need to put that much underneath there, but hey. I have to put it in like that. I really don't want it squeezing out. You gotta make sure you don't bend your nails back. Okay, you only gonna put one, and I'm gonna finish curing that while I do this opposite hand.
Let's go get out. I don't know how I want to use this little light here. I think I do better with my flashlight. <laughs> Might have to go get my flashlight. I paid almost $4 for this thing. And I'm still trying to figure out how I want to make this come over like that to get this nail from uh, bubbling. I might have to get my flashlight. Wait. She got some little tiny nail beds, so uh, you don't need much. And I, I still ain't got it to where I'm getting it to the right proportion yet. But I'm going to get it. Ooh, I'm going to have to get my flashlight. I can't be dealing with this little thing here. It's just still an inconvenience. Now, if I was doing my hand, I think it's easier, but doing somebody else's hand, uh, it, it just don't work right for me. Jason, Christine, you can't be playing your head with the protein bar on your nails. Well, I'm not scratching my head. Well, you did something. Uh, what am I looking for? The light. Oh, this ain't got on me. See, I got an air pocket right here. And sometimes I just put it like that and you don't have to put that much. Um, this is an alpha brush, number six, short oval. I really like this one. I like how it's oval and it's it's pretty it's pretty good.
last one guys Yeah, it took me all the way down to the thumbs to get it right. <laughs> Woo! It took me down to the thumbs to get it right. Her nails kind of curvy, but um, the sculpted ones is really for curved nails. Her some of her, her like her thumb and stuff, they kind of curvy, but um, I think the natural probably would have fit her nails a little better, but. Um, I don't think I had nothing natural. I'm going to have to give me some. Okay, I'll do my last manicure on all of them for um, a minute. Now, you can do the same thing for the top. Just put your, um, your acetone on top of it and make it sticky again. But I'm just going to go ahead and file it so I can get it kind of, you know, um, flush to the cuticle area. I'm going to use the file. And you don't have to do this. Um, you can do the buffer. But this is a fine um, arbor band that I'm using, a zebra fine arbor band. But I think um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. It's quicker than uh, using all my muscle with the buffer. <laughs> A two, a seven, a six, and a seven. What's your pinky? I think it was an eight. You sure it was eight? It's the last one, a nine. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna use a rubber base coat. 
You don't need a primer with this. I've heard you don't need a primer with that. So I'm going to see. I always use my protein bone anyway. But they say you don't need no primer with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this nail got a little bit more strength before I apply my other coats of gel polish. Uh, we're going to use this Black Magic Black Gel Polish. Um, I think she want nude on that finger. Mm -mm. Which one you want? This one. Nude on this finger? I think you should go for the middle finger. Okay. <laughs> what is it going to be, lady? <laughs> I guess the middle. Black is one of my, not my forte. <laughs> this is my first time getting black. <laughs> um, Chris, Nate, you gotta be still me working with this black. Watch how you put it in there because they long. Okay, you see?
I'm putting a base coat over the top coat. I mean, over this coat here. And I'm using um, Koopa Gel Base Top Coat and Matte. I still don't know if I want matte or gloss. Well, I'm gonna um, gotta put the thumb. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these rhinestones right here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the matte. You're not doing math all over them. What? You ain't doing math on all of them. I know, only on the middle one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be going to all the middle ones. You're going to be on You crazy? <laughs> so you like the math? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there. Yeah, one, that big one right there, and two little small ones. Hello. You just want this? I don't, I don't know. What are you gonna see? Okay, let me go ahead and get this away. So where you want it? In middle. I don't know how big that is, but I want it to go outside of it, so. You want it sideways or directly straight? Straight. 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 <laughs> Do you want some um caviar beads around it? Gold, silver ones. Probably. You want silver or gold? Silver. Oh, I think they got some like some more like this. Them things dropped on the floor. Oof.
You just want that one roll? I don't think you need another roll. You want to check? Make it wider? I like it like this. You always like it like it plain. That is not plain. You always like plain stuff. This is not plain. And try to wipe as much as possible to make it smooth before you put in the light so you won't have any um Rumps and bumps. <laughs> I can't tell if this is in the middle or not. I'm about an hour in just messing with this heart. I think that's going to work. See if it's in the middle. Turn it around your way. Mm hmm. Okay. You sure? Mm hmm. We're going to put that in the light. All right, hopefully this one go a little bit more smoother. What about now? <laughs> mm -hmm. You gotta make sure all this is smooth before you put it. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna have to use the, um, this right here to get that shine back on there. I don't even know. I think I like it. Just say, you think I should put some black ones on there? Mm -mm. Why? <laughs> and put it where? Some little black ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They keep playing the same song all over again. Okay, what you think? Mm -hmm. It's cute, huh? Okay. Okay, you ready to put that, that uh, matte top coat on there again? You like the matte? Mm -hmm. You sure you don't want to like some little black hearts? Let's see. You want to try it? What is that for? That's a, some little small black ones. You want some little small black ones? Like right there, right there? Let's see. Uh, once this, it got white in it. I think no. You think no? <laughs> mm -mm. Going facing this way. You don't think so? I can't even see the heart that way. I think it's all just cute with that one, huh? Mm hmm Oh, you want one right here? Yeah, right there. On the opposite side. Opposite side. I like it. What you think? It's cute. You want some more rhinestone in the middle of it? Nope. <laughs> Give it a hand. <laughs> you want some rhinestones in the middle of
All right, guys, we are there. It already um, dries to a glossy top, those hearts there. And all I probably need to do is make sure that the shaping is still there. Um, that black that I was using overdrive, missing control overdrive. And I think they turned out nice. I'm just gonna kind of um, shape them up a little bit, make sure they don't have they shape them to make sure it's sharp. And all right, guys, they are pretty tight. I tell you, they are pretty tight. Just make sure everything is just straight. Make sure they ain't got nothing hanging. Go ahead and wipe these off. These little silicone toes like this, I get this from um, Hobby Lobby. I think it was Hobby Lobby or Michaels, one of the two. They came in a bunch of, in a pack. Ooh, look at that child. Don't put them that close up. Oh, they look nice. Put some cuticle all on that. Take us some pictures. What y'all think? Y'all like? Y'all like? Put in the camera. Look at her doing her own kid of <laughs> You're gonna have to wipe that with alcohol now. Get your mat back. That's okay. Do like this. You're gonna have to wipe that out? Yeah. Well, I hope y'all like them, guys. How y'all like them? They turned out nice. Let's see. I need some. I think they turned out really nice. Get the diamond over there so I can do a screenshot real quick. Why don't you get that one? You don't take questions? Uh-uh. <laughs> Why Look how gorgeous that I hope y'all enjoyed. Until next time, y'all have a smiley day. Bye.